So the Commotions are a 12-piece soul power group from Ottawa. And uh, I started the band back in, actually 2013, um, when I was doing some road work with a band called the Funk Brothers, um, who were the um, backup band for some Motown records, a lot of Motown records, most of the Motown records. And uh, I was lucky enough to play saxophone with them for about six years. And every time I came off the road with them, I just came, I came home and I was like, I really love this music. And me being a saxophone player, I'm a sucker for a horn section. So I started kind of writing some stuff and I got some co-writers involved, um, Rebecca and David Gaw. And, uh, and we kind of wrote the first album. And then we asked the lead singer from the Funk Brothers at the time, Delbert Nelson, to come and uh, do the album with us. And he agreed. And so that was really the birth of the commotions. Uh, since then, we've gone through some, some lineup changes. And uh, I'm lucky enough to have Jeff Rogers, which is, I've known Jeff since I was 12 years old, playing music together. And uh, so it's a dream to have him in the band. And of course, Rebecca and Mackenzie, there are three powerhouses, and I couldn't be happier. So that our last album, Volume 2, came out in 2017, and we've been kind of hitting it hard ever since. Oh, I feel like I need to keep pinching myself to find out if I'm dreaming or not. Uh, this is really, it's an amazing experience and opportunity for us, so thank you so much. It's, uh, it's been a long couple months. Uh, our last show was uh, in December, so we've, uh, this is the first time we've actually been in the same room together since. So it's, uh, it's really an amazing opportunity for us and to end the beautiful theater and to have Rogers here and thank you, oh Mike, and so it's a dream come true. Yeah, we've been writing ever since COVID started, and so we've been writing with the help of Zoom, <laughs> right? And so we've written so many tunes, but it's uh, it's hard. We can't rehearse them yet. Yeah. So you have a lot of material. We have about two albums worth of material that uh, that we can go in the studio, um, but uh, we're not there yet because we have to rehearse. I think that makes the commotions what the commotions is. We're a diverse band um, because everybody has a say in the band, uh, which is really great. So we go to rehearsals, and uh, I'll bring arrangements that I've been working on. And uh, I always co-write with people, um, generally in the band, some, sometimes outside of the band. And uh, it's really, I'm so lucky in the commotions just because there's so many great musicians in Ottawa. And I really got to pick from the best and uh, they all said, I was just thankful that they said yes to be uh, with me on stage. But it's, uh, it is a powerhouse group, and I'm just very lucky to, uh, to be involved with it and to, I guess, quasi lead them as much as I'm leading them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hmm, that's a great question. I mean, the commotions, especially for, for both the live and for the recorded, um, for the recording process, I really wanted that wall of sound. You know, I grew up listening to Motown, and I got to play with some of the Motown artists too, and I, and I really wanted to capture that essence. So, Commotions will always be a big band. Um, it's difficult uh, for many, many reasons, just to find rehearsals and to, for, for, you know, for monetary reasons, it's difficult to have a big band. But uh, I refuse to let that uh, sound that we're trying to capture, I refuse to kind of let it go. And so when people were to put on an album of ours, um, they would hear the 12-piece, but they would also hear about you know, 15 other musicians uh, that are a part of our recording process. So in volume two, I got to Mark Ferguson involved, and he arranged a whole string ensemble for us for many of the tracks, uh, which was something that I'm going to do for volume three as well. Um, and, uh, and we strive, I think we sound the best on stage. You know, we feed off the energy of the crowd, and um, we feed off the energy of each other, right? And we try to capture that, of course, on our recording. But I think to see the commotions live is to, to really experience our sound. So either way, it's a big wall of sound. Yeah. <laughs> I played um, a couple times with The Temptations. Oh. Uh, and uh, The Four Tops I played a gig with. And then um, uh, Mary Wilson from The Supremes. And, uh, but just the Funk Brothers band itself, they were, I mean, monsters in the scene. And uh, just playing with them, you know, we used to play Toronto, but uh, Bob Babbitt on the bass, who's played with 
so many artists. You know, it's uh, it was just an amazing experience, and it's really why the commotions exist today. It was because of my experience with them. Go big or go home. That's you know, I've I've always reached for the stars with this band. So when it comes to making an album, or when it comes to to the band itself, right? Just go big or go home. Yeah, give it all. Um, so in this set, there's a bit of kind of pop music. Uh, there's a tune that I, I co-wrote with Rebecca and David called Let Me Kiss You Baby. And it's uh, one of our popular tunes. And uh, I was actually inspired to write it after listening to uh, some Beyonce re records. So we kind of wrote that together. And uh, we have a bluesy number called Don't Walk Away, which features Jeff Rogers and uh, a wicked guitar solo. And uh, we have uh, our guitarist today is Alex Moxon, so it's going to be a lot of fun. And then we have a couple new tunes that we're, we've been playing in the set for the last couple, couple months anyway. Um, where do we go? Um, sorry, what are we waiting for? I should know the names of my songs. Uh, and that was actually arranged by uh, Dave Eskridge, uh, who works with, uh, does some arrangement for Tower of Power. So we're just trying to get some, uh, some outside arrangers involved too. So that's really excited to get him on, him on board. So we're going to do that today, and that's a new one. Uh, another new tune is called New Suit that we released um, November, not last November, but the number, November before. And it's a, a powerhouse, Saturday Night Live, you know, go big or go home kind of song. And then we have a song from volume two called Believe in Yourself, which uh, features Rebecca Noel. Uh, and uh, there's a little bit of a rap section in the middle. So it's a bit of everything today, which is going to be a lot of fun.
says nothing seems to go my way. I'm getting tired of the same old thing. My friends keep telling me that all things change and my image needs a brand new frame. I can use a beard and get a haircut, but something tells me that's just not enough. Put your method in, don't be shy. You don't need a special reason why. Cause every girl's crazy at a shop, yeah, God. Is more than just a habit. A good suit's more than just a fab. How suit through a subtle sheen is confidence that will cause a scene. Broad shoulders and a nice lapel. It feels so good when it fits so well. I was so excited when I found out that I was given this grant to be able to make this this concert because I knew it was going to be the first opportunity that I was able to play these songs for others. You know, this album was recorded really truly in isolation. Like everybody else, we were locked down for a bit. So you're going to see, I think, the joy of playing live, of being together. For me, as someone who owns a business in Ottawa that's directly working with music, I own a recording studio, it is important because it gives a sense of confidence in terms of having support from a lot of different places. Uh, we all know in Canada 
There are all kinds of city, provincial, and federal uh, people who provide funding for artists. And just seeing how invested Ottawa is and expanding the reputation of Ottawa as a music and entertainment city, running a business in that city, just it makes you just feel better that someone's going to support you, help you, and have your back. Well, firstly, I'm seeing friends that I haven't seen in two years, so that is kind of stabbing me in the heart a little bit. But I'm also just so happy to be able to make art with all of these friends again. And I've been treated like an absolute rock star from the moment I just kind of knocked on the door and said, hey, can I unload my gear? Uh, everybody's so helpful, and you're just used to kind of dragging all your stuff around, and it's such a hard business to be in. So this is a dream come true for any local artist who gets to participate in a series like this. This program is brought to you by Ignite TV. Now you're in command. Visit rogers.com for more details. Call the Rogers TV viewer response line, email us, or connect with us on social media. When you're online, Rogers TV on YouTube shares news and events from your community. Like messages from local leaders, Updates on the latest health news. Local business presenting their new offerings. And how our local communities are working their way through these unprecedented times. 